Do the dash, do the dash I got one foot on the gas I can't let no one in front of me I can't let nobody front of me while I do the dash, do the dash I got one foot on the gas I can't let no one in front of me Success on the way, I can feel that shit coming up, yo This one for the Dell All the days I was living out in hell Back when me and mama used to argue every summer Cause that bottle had us living in the shell Hey. What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It's your girl, Danny Jew. And I'm back with another video. What's up, Jewettes? Your girl is back with a review, y'all. I have double dip nails acrylic right here, y'all. So, in this package, I got double dip, like I said, double dip acrylic. It can be used with monomer as well. The first color I showed was strawberry mousse. This color right here is bubble gum, which is my favorite, not even gonna lie. And last but not least, we have candy canes. Also in the package, they provided me with some nail art. I have some iridescent butterflies. Um, it looks like they're the nail stickers. Very pretty. They also provided some Louis Vuitton nail stickers. Or nail decals. I like those. I'm not even going to lie to you. Also, y'all, you can go to DoubleDipPowder.com. But before I even say all that, y'all, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you can get any uploads that we have. And also, guys, with the with Double Dip, if you go to DoubleDipStore.com at checkout, you can use my 10% discount code. The code is Danny10. I'll have it listed in the description below. I right then I was just pulling out what all came in the package, which was a nail file, nail book buffer, a wooden cuticle pusher, and some extra um, brush heads. Those two cards were how you receive a free gift and directions on how to use their gift system. So right here I'm just showing you what all comes in the kit. I realized that they had numbers on the side and tried to put them in order. Just showed that they, you know, sent a little festiveness in the box as well. And they also provided me with a brush, I believe, to help dust off the powder. Y'all, I'm gonna do a little something special, some a little something different this time. I'm gonna actually mix the acrylic with my poly gel. I have already filed and prepped my nails. Um, the only thing I haven't done was added my base coat yet. As you see, I'm squeezing out a little bit of McCart's Poly Gel and going straight in with that bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish, baby. My favorite color. I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all, I thought this was gonna be more like a purple, light purple, a lilac color, but Mixing it with this poly gel, I don't know if it's because I didn't put enough in there, enough uh, of the color in there, of the acrylic powder in there. But baby, it came out like a milky white, and I love this color. It, this powder was easy to mix in with the poly gel, which I'm showing you here now. Very easy mix. I'm taking my Gershon mini lamp, mini nail lamp applying my model one base coat and sticking it under that mini lamp for about 60 seconds um, the inspiration from these nails came from Jenny um, I'll post her name on the screen here because I cannot pronounce her last name I'm just gonna be honest um, and she also talked about how she doesn't apply base coat on all five fingers at the same time um, 
especially when she's doing different designs she does base coat and then apply the pot gel cure and then go to the next finger whichever or fingers if she's doing multiple ones same case with me if i'm doing multiple one with the same color i'll go in and apply base coat on just those fingers and go ahead and use the poly gel the reason being is because you don't want dust debris or anything to get stuck to those other fingers that you applied the base coat and you're not even using them at the time you might be curing other nails and then that poly gel is i mean that base gel is going to get dry if you cure it so many times um so i actually go in with one b um, I try not to go all the way down to my cuticle with that first bead, but somehow I always have too much and end up going down. I set it under my mini lamp because it's only one finger that I'm using for about 15 seconds. Do a flash gear and then go in with a second bead. Y'all, I'm sorry I keep getting out of frame and it's shaking. I thought I was in frame. Um, this is my second time using this setup, really, so I haven't gotten used to it yet. And I'm just really trying to work on my cuticle area, which is another big, another big key to nails. After you work on your shaping, work on your cuticle area, and then you can work on your smooth, smoothness. That's how I'm, that's how I'm moving. So as you see, I did a base coat on my pointy finger and my ring finger, and I'm sticking it in my big UV lamp light um, because it's two fingers that I'm doing. And everything that I'm using will be in the description below as well as the discount code for double dip acrylic nails. So I'm going in here now mixing the second color, um, the candy canes color, that beautiful dark purple. Like I said, y'all, it's very easy to mix, very easy to mix. Again, going in with that first bead, trying to smooth it out as best as I can. Still new to poly gel. Still, I'm not gonna say I'm still new to nails, um, but I'm still new to poly gel, so I'm trying to, you know, learn how to manipulate the product. flash cure for about that flash cure that for about five seconds because I remember hey I have one more finger to do <laughs> again going in with that first bead trying to smooth it out as best I can And if y'all are new to Paul Gel, guys, or just new to nails, period, actually, 
just keep trying. Keep trying. Sometimes you might you might not get it on the first take, the second take, or the third. But practice makes perfect. Cause baby, I ain't gonna lie, I came out thinking I was gonna be the best nail artist in the in the world, Craig. I've been getting my nails done all my life, been watching people do my nails all my life, so it should be easy. So I thought. But you wits, it was very hard for Danny for Danny Jew. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's easier now. It's it's fun. I love it. I also had um, I follow a group on Facebook, uh, Poly Gel for Beginners, I believe. And one of the young ladies said, asked, "Is it better to mix poly, your Poly Gel first, like while you're doing your nails, or to pre-mix and store?" Um, so so far, all I've done is mix right while I'm doing my nails. Um, and for me, I like it because I'm just doing my nails myself. But it can get very messy because you have to clean. If you're doing multiple colors, you have to clean whatever palette you might be using. If you're using a small one like I have, a mixing palette. Or if you have a big one, you have more room to mix. It might be easy, um, which it still is, but it just was messy. Um, I did, I have ordered me some double walled containers. So if I do pre-mix or if I do make a lot of color, I can just store it um, right then and not worry about just making just a little bit like I'm doing now just for the nails. Also, another tip that really helped me with um, learning how to do nails Instead of thinking that I was going to be able to do everything at once, jump out the bed and be the best nail tech uh, in the world, I started breaking down and working on things that I need to work on, like my shaping. So now that I feel like I have my shaping at a pretty good good level, I can move on to something else, which is now my cuticle. Um, and as you see, now I'm also now I'm going in and mixing in um, the poly gel with that strawberry mousse which I thought when I first opened the package was going to be my favorite color. But baby, was I again surprised with that bubble gum. But I do love, I do like this strawberry mousse as well as the candy canes. Um, I like, I love all three colors. Um, the strawberry mousse is a very neutral, a neutral pink, a very light pink, which I can enjoy. Also, if your if your nails are lumpy, all it is, baby, is a, all it takes is a little file. Just do a little filing. Just do a little filing. So don't feel no type of way. Cause I used to be, I used to feel some type of way my nails would be lumpy, and I'm like, oh my god, cause I was scared of my drill and scared of the nail file, cause I have cut myself so many times in the beginning stage. But now, baby, I go and file that stuff right on out, cause I want that stuff to be smooth. I want it to look like something. So if you have to file in between stages, do do that. Don't be don't be scared to to file. Don't be scared to perfect your stuff. Especially if you're working on yourself, you have nothing but time. You have nothing but you know. So again, doing the same process, applying the base coat. 60 seconds under lamp, mixing the color, putting my first bead, cure for 15 seconds or less, go in with my second bead. Um, I had to mix a little bit more color because I didn't have enough for my first or my second. I mean, I didn't have enough for my second bead, but honestly, I didn't have enough for the first one really because I was really trying to stretch it out. Um, so I had to mix the second second batch up to make my second bead on the pinky and the thumb. I 
Y'all, if I sound kind of tired, I'm so sorry. I have recorded this voiceover at least 20 times. At least. (sighs) Bless it. And I was having technical difficulties, so I had to go to the last plan. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, I'm just going to put music with it, baby. And y'all just going to have to, it is what it is. It's just going to be music. So if you made it this long, if if you made it so far to this point, drop some music notes below. (laughs) Drop the music notes, please. To let you know you knew that the girl struggled. Struggled. All day. All day. All day. Music notes. Drop it below. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I, like I said, I went ahead and filed um, to smooth out just a little bit because I knew I was gonna, I was going to be encapsulating, and also I was going to be um, putting clear on top. Same thing, encapsulating. <laughs> I was going to be putting glitter and also putting the clear on top, encapsulating the nail, which you don't have to do, but I like to do it because sometimes I don't put enough to make the apex or whatever to build. I don't do enough to build the nail. So right there, I'm actually using model ones of glitter. I think it's Barbie glitter, girly glitter, something like that. Um, and then instead of using hearts, I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna use butterflies. I always reference butterflies to my deceased um, grandmother, my Grammy. I love her so much. Um, and I wanted to dedicate this nail set and this video to her because February was, I believe, her favorite month. Um, so just a little 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 something, something a little background story of why i put the butterflies and i put um the glitter And then I'm going to cure the pinky and the thumb for about 10 seconds. Because I'm now going to add the clear poly gel on all of the nails. And I'm not sure if I already said this. I After I found, I went ahead and added base coat, on, base coat to all five fingers because I was getting ready to do all five fingers at this time. And when I use the clear, I don't, if I'm encapsulating, I don't do two beads on, on that. I do just one. I also find it easier to squeeze it directly from the tube onto the nail um, when you're using nail extension versus taking it on the spatula and then putting it on the nail. That middle finger with that bubble gum to me came out perfect, y'all. It's it's perfect to me. So now guys, I am going in with the designs, my rhinestone. Um, Again, I'll have those products linked in the description below as well as the discount code, Danny10.
a little treat, guys. If you're having issues with flooding your cuticle area or your cuticle area isn't looking superb, add you some rhinestones down there, some bling. Put your little, put your little nail glue down, your top coat, and then put your, your bling on and cure. I'm using uh, Model One's Mirror Top Coat. They have changed their formula and name. It's not a mirror type coat. It's super shine or something like that now. That'll be listed in the description below as well. So again, I was inspired by Jenny's nails, and I'm gonna use this, this neon pigment that I got. I'm gonna use the purple. Um, and she basically said, take um, some of your base coat, put it on the palette, uh, take a brush and draw out your hearts on the nail. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this did not come out like hers. Couple reasons why I think so. The brush I was using was incorrect. She had a very small, a smaller brush. Her hearts were not as big as my hearts. I don't know how to draw. The brush was big, made my hearts big. <laughs> Third, I did not put enough base coat. It was like a thin layer of base coat. And now that I think back and look back on it, her base coat was a lot thicker. Um, Fourth, when I didn't like it, I just wiped it off. I didn't use um, acetone to wipe it off, which I should have done. So that's another reason. <laughs> it's another thing. She also said after you draw the hearts on, you're going to cure for 60 seconds like you normally would. Um, and she used base coat and thought it was the best method because... Um, It leaves a sticky residue after it's been cured. Fifth, she had a fan brush. I did not have a fan brush. I need to get a fan brush. So in my mind, I'm saying, okay, I see the hearts a little bit. If you if you really look, you can see that top heart. It's like, okay. Your girl, didn't you doing a doggone thing? I get to this ring finger. That's all I'm gonna say. I realized it was not coming out as well as that pointer finger was. So I tried to, use, to dust it off. And I'm like, it did not stick. So let me use a little acetone to clear it up, clean it up a little bit. But when I used that, it just smeared the pigment all over the nail. So I just didn't redo it. I just left it like that and said, okay, it's just gonna be. It's just gonna be like that. And on the pointed finger, I was able to dust it off a lot better. So as you can see, you can see it a little bit. You can see the hearts a little bit, but again, it, it didn't come out right. So I'm trying to clean it up. And I just went ahead and started applying uh, a gem. I was out of frame, so I went ahead and, and cut that part out. But I went ahead on my pointed finger, added a heart um, and then I'm gonna do the same on my ring finger now I'm not gonna lie I didn't really plan bling out for this set because I thought that the nails with the candy cane color on was gonna be more hearts and just more vibrant than what it was and that was gonna be my statement piece but since they did not come out correctly, I had to do some modifications. And guys, I'm so sorry. I thought I cut this portion out, but I apparently did not. So in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell, check out the description box. 
So I'm just now just showing you how I finished my right hand. Well, actually, that's my yeah, that's my right hand. See, I went in with that bubble gum twice on that one, and then that's the left hand that y'all seen. And I could say it was pretty, but I said no, I need to jazz this thing up. So I had to come back with the with the bling, the Danny G bling, y'all. But appreciate y'all for staying with me. Love you guys. Too sweet. I'm out. Rest in peace, Grammy. I love you and miss you. I'm just living my best life. Huh? Living my best life. Huh? Living my best life. Huh? Living my best life. Huh?